In tonight's Fox 7 Focus, we continue to follow that developing news out of the Middle East where Iran has launched a wave of strikes on Israel. Joining us to talk about this is Aaron Pluto, an Austin-based international security and policy expert who has previously served as a military advisor. Aaron, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So first of all, what do we know about these attacks so far? We're talking about drones and also it looks like ballistic missiles as well, right? That's correct. So the IDF has confirmed that Iran, is, Iran has been launching hundreds of drones and missiles directly from its territory into Israel tonight. And this is a radical change from its uh, usual use of proxies. So drones and missiles were also reportedly launched from Yemen and other countries around the re region into Israel. And this is um, uh, basically a, a response after it accused Israel of ki killing two Revolutionary Guard commanders um, around April 1st, who had been directing the proxy attacks on Israel from Lebanon and Syria. Um, so this is an important development. And I think a lot of us are wondering, you know, how destructive are these these uh, modes of of attack? Um, as far as drones, we understand they can take, you know, several hours to arrive at their target. And then on the missile side as well, you know, how potentially destructive are these? So basically, these are being used in mass. So um, the Shahid 136 is likely one of the drones that is being used, although there could be other types as well. They're relatively slow and loud, but with the payload of somewhere around 440 pounds, somewhere around 500 pounds perhaps, that we've seen uh, Russia use these same drones in Ukraine, these potentially are bigger. Um, they can cause quite a bit of damage when used in swarms. Are we talking about the potential for, for major, major casualties here? Potentially. Um, we have been uh, seeing that there's a lot of different countries involved with the protection of the U.S. or of Israel, including the U.S. Um, so they've been doing a very good job in countering these drones. But um, I think there's probably a few things at play here. Um, Iran is counting on using a lot of drones in making a statement. However, if just one of these gets through and knocks out an air defense site for Israel, that PR victory is probably what it's wanting to score without really fully escalating this into a larger regional conflict. And you talked about the U.S. and Israel trying to stem these attacks. What does that actually involve? You know, how do you how do you block or stop uh, these these drones or these missiles? Yeah, these. Uh, so you've got the Iron Dome in Israel, which has been successful for some years now, and uh, along with U.S. support. Uh, if you recall, after the October seventh attacks on Israel, there were two carrier groups that were stationed uh, near and around uh, the Persian Gulf and the Eastern Mediterranean. So I would anticipate in coming days that the U.S. and Israeli military leaders would come together and look at the most appropriate response here. So do you think this this round of attacks is is it or do you think we could see more in the coming days? Well, I know that the um, White House considers this protect, uh, potentially just the first wave. I think um, it, a lot will be seen over the next 24, 48 hours, um, how much destruction was actually caused by this, how much of a win Iran can claim. Do you think this changes at all, at all what Israel is doing in Gaza, the larger picture of that conflict? Uh, and does it change the, the larger dynamics in the Middle East, or is it too early to tell? Well, as I mentioned, this is really a deviation from Iran's normal proxy efforts. This is the first time that Iran has struck out directly from its territory onto its onto Israel's territory. So uh, I think this has the potential of escalating this um, quite a bit. Now, I don't think it changes Israel's calculus. Israel has stated that they will be in Gaza until Hamas is removed. Um, whether that uh, changes anything with support from the West, specifically the United States, uh, will be a decision for military leaders to make in the next few days. All right, Aaron Pluto, former military advisor based here in Austin. Aaron, thank you so much for taking the time and sharing your expertise with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.